you are watching part 2 of the outfeed table build. If you haven't watched part 1, click on this link to watch it first. In the previous video, we have completed the frame of the table. Now it is time to get the 12 drawers prepared. I have 12 sets of this heavy duty drawer slides. Just like my other projects, I like to mount drawer slides directly onto aluminum extrusion. Based on the various mounting holes provided on the slides, I have decided to use the smaller round holes to insert the fastening screws. For this length, two or three screws should be just fine. With the appropriate hex screw and slide T-nut, everything should hold well. Off camera, I had all the slides precisely mounted back onto the frame with a recessed distance of 19mm away from the front. After the slides are all up, it is time to finish the raw MDF tabletop. The top received a chamfer on all sides, a proper sand down, a proper wax down, and a good wipe down. I have since modified my assembly table into a crosscut station. The saw lift and the stop block system helped make my repeated cuts simple and precise. Twelve mm birch plywood is my chosen material for the drawer boxes. I find the decorative grains and plies really attractive and I will leave them exposed. The more I sanded, the nicer it became. I kept increasing the sandpaper grid and I am finally satisfied at 800 grit sandpaper's result. This stage is the assembly of the drawers. This part needs no introduction. Everyone knows how to do it. I will just show the process to you. The process you just watched is for one drawer. Since I wanted 12 drawers, I did these 12 times. Don't worry, I will just show you once. I believe this is the first time my MFT assembly table is in usage. With MFT clamps and some wood scraps, I made a simple jig to properly space the drawer face and the drawer box.
I made sure that once the box hits the jig, that is the correct final distance, and I can screw things down. Three screws through the pocket holes at the bottom should hold it briefly for now, while I check for flush. Once I am satisfied with the result, the remaining screws were inserted. After inserting the completed drawers into the aluminum frame, this is the result. Next step is to install the handles. After some cleanup, the build is finally done. The build shall be concluded here. In my other videos, you will soon see this outfeed table in operation throughout the workshop. Subscribe and like to follow the rest of my builds.